guys, it's Tina. Today is the first day that I'm going to work on uh, restoring my spinning wheel. I've taken the wheel off and I've just got it sitting on a bowl since I've got this peg on the other side. And I want to leave this centerpiece intact. So I've got some assorted tools, some pliers, a chisel, a hammer, an exacto knife. I've got um, a spray bottle of water and a blow dryer. So we're just going to start plugging away at this and see if we can get this carefully taken apart. Okay, so as you can see, a lot of the joints are coming apart already. But to take the spindles out, each one has a little nail that's holding the top of the spindle in place. So that's going to be the trick to get that nail out um, without dinging the wood up too much. I don't know if I should just pull this apart and try to pull these apart because these are most of these are have already come apart, but a couple of them haven't. Like this one is still in there, pretty good. Well, actually, oh, I think I may just be able to pull it right apart. Oh my goodness, I did. Can you see that? The, uh, I was able, it's so well, dried out that uh, I was able to just pull this part apart. So I'm going to put that aside. And now the trick is to get these carefully. See, this is in not very good shape. It has been re-glued together a couple of times, so those joints are going to be the ones that are hard to get apart, because I'm not sure what kind of glue those are. But I think, carefully, I can pry these apart. I might need some water in there. Oop. It's coming apart. Oh shoot. I don't want to ding up my wood too much. Okay, as you can see, there's dowels that go through to tie the pieces together. So instead of prying apart this brittle wood um, and having it crack more, because see, I was doing some damage right there trying to pry it apart. Some of the wood chipped off. The dowel starts here. The dowels go here. And then they go through here one is obviously in here the other comes through let's see if you can see it right here is where the other end of one of the dowels is so i think what i'm going to do is just take a saw a hand saw cut through these dowels here and then i'll drill out the old dowels with a smaller drill bit, drill in there, and then it's such old wood, it should just kind of chip out of there. I should be able to just get it out pretty easily without doing any damage, and then I'll just replace those dowels with new ones. Okay, so I used a saw and cut, up, cut through these dowels, and I measured these dowels, and they're 3 8 inch dowels. So that's what I'll replace them with after I get the old ones out and I get the wheel all the way taken apart. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how that works. That worked really well. I drilled through the middle of the dowel to make it a little bit less uh, stable, I guess you'd say. And then I was able to take a hammer and just a metal a stainless steel rod and which fits in here exact just about exactly this end 
and I was able to pound it and it came out really easy. So I'll just go ahead and do that with all of the dowels. And then, as I said, they're just 3 8 inch uh, dowels. And I'll just replace those when we put it back together with new glue. Okay. Okay, now let's see if you can see. See this right here? Right here? I initially thought that that was a tack, a little metal tack, but actually it's a little small wooden dowel that holds the spindles in place. So what I'm doing for those, see that? If I'm careful, I'm able to pound them out and then I can put in new, I can put in new uh, little pins, little dowel pins. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so now all of these spindles, I'm going to leave these that are still in there good and tight attached, but there are three of them that broke off. Now I did find one that was kind of loose, and so I pulled it out because I wanted to see what the end looked like. And so what I think I'll do is the pieces are still in there. So what I'll do is drill out that end piece and then in the ends of these where it's broken off I will drill a hole, put a dowel in there to put in to the holes. So what I've done is I stuck a rod down in the hole to see how deep the hole was. Then I went to my drill and I've got my drill bit here and I put a piece of tape around the drill bit where I want to stop so that I don't go too deep into the wood. So I'm going to go ahead and drill those out and then we'll move on from there. <laughs> 